Tent caterpillars, often mistakenly called bagworms. Len, what's the difference? What's the difference? <laughs> well, bagworms. Okay, bagworms are real bagworms. People come in and they say, oh, I've got cones all over my plants. Uh, so that is the bag that is surrounded by the bagworm that is inside laying eggs, doing its thing, and that it's killing your plant. But that's not what we're talking about. That's a bagworm. Ten caterpillars are those things that have a big web. And like people that don't know, it's like, oh, there's spiders in there. No, there's not (laughs) spiders in there. But there are caterpillars. 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 A lot of them. All right, Julio, Mm -hmm. what is silk made from? Silk is probably made from caterpillars. There you go. Um, that again, it's it's that tent caterpillar that you see. A lot of times you'll see them like you're driving on the highway and they're all along like, you know, turnpike's good for that. You know, <laughs> <laughs> section's 295, you know, <laughs> parkway. <laughs> you know, now you can see that, that those tent caterpillars doing their thing. Uh-huh. And what happens, it's like crazy because when you have them, like in your yard, and a lot of times it's on cherries, on crab apples, flowering trees, and that there's like a gazillion. Yeah, it's, in not there. They, it's not just one. It's not just one. They lay like four hundred eggs oh my gosh. In, on, on this on a branch, and uh, it, and it almost looks like uh, where your branch has a cigar attached to it, <laughs> and and it, like there's a foam mass that's mm. that makes you know that your branch looks funky in one little spot, and usually it's maybe four inches and that's where the eggs are and like if you see a mass like that that very well could be 10 caterpillar eggs i when they go into their nest and that they begin to spin that web and that all of a sudden they all come out have you ever opened one julio no i haven't you are missing so much fun oh yeah (laughs) you know because when you you open it Uh uh-huh it's filled with squiggly little caterpillars Uh, all right. But you know what's even worse? What? In the bottom, it's like um, I'm trying to think of what it what what it's like. Like not Jimmy's, but uh, what are like the crunchy things that are on like little ice cream bars? Aaron, come on, you got kids. You know what I'm talking about? Like Ed, Ed Claire, for instance. Like if it's uh, you know one of those Ed Claire. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I just don't remember the name of it. Well, anyway, with those little those little crunchies. And you, wait, you're from North Jersey. You call it Jimmy's? No, I don't. I've I've adapted. It's not it's sprinkles. Oh, sprinkles. I'm about, sprinkles. yeah, I'm about, sprinkles. I, I, I have to translate. It's like Jeez. I still have to translate the television channel. Like, <laughs> okay, all right, channel all two right. is CBS, but it's really three. Gotcha. <laughs> Down here, yeah, channel yeah, four yeah. is NBC, but here it's ten. Ten, right? ABC is channel six, but it's seven. You know, up, it's right. really yeah. seven. Yeah, I got you. Anyway, so those little crunchy things. <laughs> so you open the bottom of this web, and these little like, crunchy things come out. Right. You know what that is? Mm-mm. Poop. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> I will never have another good humor bar. <laughs> <laughs> but what? There's such. There's so many of them, and the webs can get big. Oh yeah. Good. And and here I've got a secret for you. What you do is you take like a a stick. Like a three prong, it better get it's three prong stick, like just a, a branch, and you go in, and maybe I'm hungry because it's all about food. You go into the web, you stick it in, and then you twirl it like it's cotton candy, and then you go and all of the you get all of the basically caterpillars that are there, uh, and that some drop to the ground, and that's where you got to spray them. That's where you got to spray them, and the best oh, thing to boy. spray them with organic Captain Jack's mm-hmm. gonna work. Uh, BT, gonna BT. work. Uh, that both are organic. What else do you have, Julio? Eight over here. Eight? Mm-hmm. Eight. It's a thrin. It's a thrin, yeah. It's a thrin. Any of the thrins will work. Mm-hmm. And again, it's easy. They're easy to control, easy to kill. Um, it's just what they'll do is they'll devastate your your leaves on your trees. Like, they'll just go to town and they'll, they'll be... Go, they'll take care of Goodbye. That, huh? You know, they're, <laughs> my tree's looking a little bare. <laughs> um, so, and then when they have one generation, so when they, they hatch, they, they turn into, and they end up turning into these, like, tan moths mm-hmm. you often see. Yeah. A lot of people thought that they were, oh, they're, uh, they're not, no. they, they're, right, they, they, they thought they were something else. It is the eastern tent caterpillar, and it looks like a flat moth. A lot of times you'll see them around your trees. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, does not look like a butterfly. It 
you know, it's kind of like, it looks like a moth. Like if you go in the dictionary, moth, moth. it looks like that. Boom. Um, and it's more of a tan color. Mm-hmm. And that they're, like I said, that, you know, they're reproducing and that you don't want them on your tree. And if they, when they lay their eggs, they they make it like, again, it's like that all of a sudden at the base of a branch or or somewhere that along that branch, it almost looks like cigar where it's like a foam. And it's probably about two inches, maybe three inches long. Um, it, it is, it is a problem, Mm -hmm. but to be quite honest, they generally don't get too out of hand that you, it, if you've got large tents, yes, you've got a problem, Mm -hmm. but they're easy to control. It's one of those things it can be, but don't think that you can spray the nest or the, the basically where all the web is. Because you have to get through the web to get to the insect. Otherwise, any spray that you're trying to spray them with is repelled and it just falls to the ground and they're all safe inside laughing at you. Mm. So you want to do that cotton candy thing, go in, break it up, pull it out, spray. And at that point you spray because they're going to drop to your to your grass or whatever's around them, your mulch. And you want to do the tree branches and that will control them. So get ready. It's a two-step, two-step attack. You go and you... Put it in, spin it around, cotton candy it, pull them out, then pick up your spray, spray all around, and that will control them. So, so these moths, are female and males, they're going to be laying, they're going to mate. Birds and the bees, baby. They, they over, <laughs> over winter. The, 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 the moths themselves, it's a one generation. It's one generation. Yeah, so have, they do not. They do not. Just, just one year. That's right. They they. They lay their eggs and, and, and then they move on. Oh, that's good. So our, that's, that, good that's, that's good that thing. they don't have multiple yeah. generations. Yeah. That's a lot exactly of eggs, right. right. <laughs> that would be a lot of a lot web-filled of trees, a lot of cotton yeah. candy. Of cotton candy. <laughs> so, again, you got to break the web. That's the whole key. you got to break the web in order to get any success. Wow. You know, they're amazing, these insects. They are. They are. Yeah, it's uh, – I – not a fan. Not a fan. <laughs> Not a fan. Not a fan. Ruined by, you know, good humor, chocolatey Claire things forever. <laughs> anyway.